Okay, this is video chapter 4.2, page 78. And this is a little different here. We have an isometric type drawing. And I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how to um, draw this. First, I'm just going to move this out of my way here. Kind of come over and click this and show you everything that I have turned on here. So you can get a chance to uh, compare it to what you have. And that's pretty much everything down here. Um, the other way you can do it, you can come over here to your this, right click, and just hit snap settings, and you can just kind of go through, make sure all these are checked, especially on object snap, select all, make sure both of those are checked. But you can check it either way here or here and again we're not working with any scale everything is proportional for instance uh, what we've drawn this on a 30 degree angle so you're going to be using 30 or 150 depending on which direction you're going like if I wanted to draw this box Make sure this right here. Make sure it is shape here. Make make sure this is turned on. It'll highlight red and green. Make sure that's on. Just go to line command. We're not really concerned about the length right now. All we want is the 150 degrees. So I'm just going to select that, come up, come over. I'm just going to come down and touch that corner and come back up and it'll line me up. Okay, then I'm going to go back to the line again, grab that corner, make sure I'm on 30 degrees. You see, if you're not careful, it'll, so make sure you got the right length to make it look proportional and make sure it's at 30 degrees. Come over, touch this corner, select and select. Go back to the line. Come down. Touch this corner. But don't click. Click. Come back. And, and there's that, you know, like a box here or there. Um, the lines, same deal. If you're in this direction, if I were drawing this line, you know, I'm not really worried about the length, but I am worried about my angle. And I want to make sure it's 150. Click it. Come straight up. Make sure you, <coughs> excuse me, make sure you have ortho on. If you don't have that turned on, you know, you could be all over the place. So, I like to keep it on there. Come up. Come back over. And you can use circle or ellipse here. Come in, trim, enter, 
you just have to look and see. It may be an ellipse, and if it is, <coughs> you can just use these here, circle or ellipse. You check it out. Other than that, it's just boxes, so it's not really that hard. You know, what, what you're going to do here, I'd probably just come here and copy. that like I'm working here and then just continue this line over and keep going in that fashion so it's not really that hard just remember when you're working one direction is going to be 150 degrees, the other direction is going to be 30 degrees. So all of these lines in this direction are 30. Anything going this way is 150. Make sure you got <coughs> ortho on to make sure you'll go straight up, up and down. Other than that, once you're finished, create a block and put it in your title block. You guys probably have a different title block, but just put it in there, and you can refer back. If you if you forget how to do the title block, you can refer back to probably the first or second video in 110, where we create the block here. If you're in model, you're going to create it, and once you have it completed, you're going to bring it in by inserting. <coughs> so go back to those uh, EGT 110 videos and take a look at that.